Well, it's November 2014. Been a short summer and fall. Time to get back to work on the Buick. Um, one of the things I'm going to talk about right now is turn signals, 1955 Buick turn signals, and I'm sure other years have the same issues. Um, we'll take a look over here. This is where they mount in the fender, and they're made out of pot metal. And what you're going to see is that there's no inner fender well protecting the back of these turn signals. So basically the tire is right here and you're going to be throwing mud, salt, water right up on the back of that uh, turn signal bucket. And that's why most of the time when you find them, they look like this. They're totally rotted away, the pot metal is deteriorated, and this is my other one. Now there was some undercoating under there. As you can see but obviously it didn't do the job so after a long search I finally found a nice set on eBay and it looks like they they got a little bit of pitting or corrosion but none of it's uh, very bad and uh, the chrome is actually good enough to put on the car and there's no pitting at all so I scored on those these cups are my original cups, and this one here had a lot of holes in it. You can see I actually put some lead in there. I tried my hand at doing a little leading, kind of just for fun, but it worked pretty well. So I'm going to uh, get these cleaned up really good. And if you look really close, there's some areas that look like these were silver cat at one time. They did have a plating on them. So I will be, re I'll be putting them in silver. I'll use some good epoxy primer and putting some uh, some silver paint on there to make it look like uh, silver CAD. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. The lenses are cracked, but you can buy new lenses. So I'll be buying new lenses. I'll be repainting this black area here and painting these. And they will be ready to be installed. So I now have the uh, lens out, and you basically have to take these clips off very carefully off of this. These are pot metal, so they can break easily. So be very careful taking those off. It would be better to destroy these clips than to break those off. So now I have this ring off, which looks like somebody has repainted this once. Um, I'm going to go ahead and redo that. And there you have it. The only other thing I noticed, I do have one terminal broke off in this wire. But that's easily fixed. I have several harnesses so I could easily splice one in there. One of the turn signals um, that I bought is in, it's in great condition and everything. The only thing wrong is that this boot has ripped right there. Now I have this other one that is in actually excellent condition. The wires and everything are good. And all it's held on by is two little rivets. So it'd be very simple for me to just drill out those rivets and replace this instead of trying to do some type of a patch repair on this, uh, this rubber boot that covers the wiring. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. One of my turn signal uh, wires, the ground wires, was broken. It's a little terminal that goes to the terminal block uh, under the hood there. And uh, instead of trying to find an end just like that or cutting another one off, I had a, another wire here that has a good end on it. So what I decided to do is take that wire out of another harness, which was junk, and I've unsoldered the... Uh, wire and what I did was I soldered a piece of uh, small welding wire to the end of it so I could pull it through pull it through this harness and what I'll do is I'll solder the, the good one on 
and then pull it up back through. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty difficult to pull it through there. So it would have been easier just to crimp an end on, but it's hard to find those original style ends to make it look right. So I had one, so that's what I'm doing. I had bead blasted this socket to clean it up, get all the corrosion out. And I also noticed that the uh, solder was wore off the ends of these. These were the bulb mix contact. And I'm sure the bead blaster took a little bit off. But what I'm doing is just putting a little bit of solder back on here. I've already done one. It doesn't take much. And I have these little clamps here acting as a heat zinc so they don't... Uh, the heat doesn't travel down the wire, so it shouldn't take too much just to put a dab of solder on the top of this. There, now I've got new contact for the bulb. I ended up taking both uh, harnesses out of both um, turn signals. This is just the pot metal part. And what I discovered was I went ahead and taped the front and I uh, put it in my bead blaster because I wanted to stop the corrosion. So I bead blasted it. And what I ended up happening was there was a couple pinholes that uh, went all the way through, really small ones. So I mixed up some epoxy to cover up those holes. Otherwise, these things are really in good shape. Like I showed before, those other ones are completely gone. So even though there was a few pinholes, that's not bad. You know, it's 60 years old. Probably been laying on a shelf with dirt on it. And it's a little bit pitted, but they're going to come out real nice when I'm done. Everything is painted. All the sockets have been rebuilt. I resoldered. On my grounds, I installed one new wire from another one. Got some dielectric grease on there, and we're going to test to make sure these things work. That'd be your parking light, that'd be your turn signal. Parking light, turn signal. It's a good idea to check those before you put the whole thing together. As soon as we get the new lenses, I'll be able to assemble these turn signals. I put a little uh, paint on the back of those just to protect them a little bit. I just got to polish these a little bit, a little cleaner. Um, maybe just some Windex, they're nearly perfect. Uh, those have been just been painted, and these are painted silver. They were a silver CAD before. I gave them a little uh, silver and I put a little uh, clear satin on top of that. I'm getting ready to uh, assemble the turn signal and I've got some masking tape on that to protect the finish on that and uh, this is the harness that's been restored cleaned up ready to go so basically this notch here is the bottom there's a notch in the fender that that goes in and right here it says top so we want to assemble this and stick our wires through here okay Put that up in there there we go that's going to go in there just like that and I've got my rivets and we're going to get this set up in my drill press and uh, get these rivets set. Okay, this is the setup I have here. This is called the uh, squeezer die here. And uh, that goes on the uh, rounded portion of the head of the rivet like that. And I made, got this little tool here, I put it in there. And then this is the actual rivet tool itself. I guess they call that the rivet clincher. And I've got these lined up. They lined up perfectly. And let's see, we have a little adjustment here. 
you know, I've already done a practice once, so we're going to get this set up and uh, get this thing riveted on. Okay, I've got another rivet in here to hold it straight. I've got my dies lined up. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a squeeze here. It looks like it started correctly, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit more. There we go. It looks like we have a perfectly crimped rivet there. So now I'll do the other side. Okay, I'm doing the other side, and I don't know if you can see this one or not, but you want to also make sure you have your rubber boot angled the proper way, depending on if it's the left side of the car or the right, so that this angles up toward where the, loom, the wires go through the inner fender. Because once this is crimped, it's going to be pretty tight here. Another thing you want to do is push down on the housing itself to make sure your rivet's all the way in. We'll go ahead and proceed and tighten this one up. There we go. It looks like we got two nicely installed rivets. Just the way it's supposed to be. And they're nice and tight. So now I can proceed with the assembly. There we are with the uh, new lens installed. And the whole thing is assembled. You can see my rivets I installed there. Basically, I took uh, four turn signals and made two good ones out of it. Um, so, put the other one together and these will be done. Just pop that baby in the fender. We're going to take a look at it. There's our parking light. And there's the turn signal. Looks just like new.